Hi, today we will learn how to create a transition variant in SAP. A transition variant is used to make a fill mandatory, disable or hide a fill on the screen. This is applicable also for tab strips and some menu functions. So today we will see an example of transition code XD01. First let me show you the XD01 key code. Here on XD01, first you select the account group. After that, there is the option to enter the company code, sales of etc. And once we enter here, on the screen we need to select title, name and we have to enter all the mandatory fields. And here we have email a mobile number. So what we'll do, we'll get a transition variant with some default value. Means whenever we call this transition code by default, I want here the country IN should come and the region 13. Apart from this, we'll also see how to fill, how to make some fill mandatory and to hide some additional fields. So let's start a transition code. SHD0. This is the T code for transition variant. Here we have to enter transition code for which we are going to create the transition variant. So T code will be here XD01. And the variant transition, you can give any name here. So here I am going to create XD01005. This is for prospect customer. You can give any name here in the transition variant. Press enter and click on create button. So my account group will be 005. Now while creating transition variant, after every screen, one pop-up will come. On that screen, we have to make the field hidden with some default value, invisible, etc. So what I will do, I will hide some of the field and I will make this account group by default with non-editable. And I will try to hide some of the field here. So once you press enter, here we can see confirm the skin entry screen. So what I will do here, account group is 0005. Okay, this is RF02 KT OKD bill. So I will make this with content. Once you select this checkbox, by default in the variant transition, this value 0005 will come. And I want to make this as output only. I don't want to allow user to edit this field. Okay, so apart from this, I want to hide some other field. So two, three field I will try to hide. Let's take example, I want to hide company code here. Company code text. I also want to hide this customer find button. So I'm going to hide this find button, etc. Remaining we can keep as it is or based on requirement, we can hide the other field as well. For the learning purpose, I'm showing some specific fields. So this I'm making default with content in the display only mode and remaining some fields I'm trying to hide. And the example, if you want to perform your activity only on the initial screen. So here we can select exit and save or if you want to do some same activity on the other screen, then only you have to click on continue button. So here I'm going to the next screen. I will enter some default value here. Search term, city, postal code, let's say for 11007, city, Pune, country, IN, region 13. And what I will do here, I will enter some telephone number. Okay. Let's pass this into mobile number. One, two, three. Now, on this screen, if I enter here, just press enter. So what I want, I want to make country and region fill with default value. And here, I want country in display mode only. And region by default will be 13, but it will be in edit mode. And here, even the mobile number is optional, I want to make this mandatory. 
just press enter till we can see our values if you want to hide tab strip for example if you want to hide this control data button tab strip so simply here make invisible we'll try this also for example i want to hide marketing marketing tab so here i'm selecting invisible so marketing tab should get this uh, hide in the transition variant i'm pressing enter now here we can see all the default values so my requirement is i want to make that country field as hidden so it's a little bit content and output only and region i want default 13 to become but i want to make this field editable if user want they can change this value and second i want mobile number to be mandatory yes mobile phone i'm going to make this as mandatory required field and let's try some field to hide also for example here company postal code i want to hide okay so let's uh, yeah here company postal code is there so i will make this invisible okay that's all so here i will click on exit and save give some name here xt01 variant transition click on save button and saying as a local object in real time gives some package name and transfer to quality and the PID system so all details are saved I'm going back so here we can see the variant transition is created now next our requirement is to create transition code for this variant transition because for the end user we have to assign transition code so from go to here we can see option create variant transition or we can also create to SC93 and with the same name you can give any name here by default this radio button will be selected transition with variant select the checkbox okay let's check the description let's say create prospect customer save come back so this way we have created transition variant and also transition code now let's see how this will work so if i enter this transition code zx01005 see here by default the prospect is selected and also it is in gray display mode only user cannot change okay and also i hide the company code so we cannot see company code also the find button here press enter see here so let me select now if you observe here on the tab strip i have hide marketing tab so now we cannot see the marketing tab here okay and second i had made this default content in the display mode so here we can see country i am in gray out mode and default value region 13 but editable mode if user want they can change here also you can see the mobile number is mandatory okay and i hide one more field here that is company postal code so this way we can make default value in display mode we can make one field with default value in the editable mode we can make the field mandatory we can hide a type of strips so you can see customer is created so in this way transition variant works suppose for some standard transition code instead of controlling through authorization objects or doing a lot of enhancement if you know this simple concept in a very short time you can create a variant transition and create a new PFCG role and assign your new transition code in the PFCG role and then user can use the new T code instead of old one. So in this way, in a very short time, you have seen how to create a variant transition. Thank you.